Hello everyone, welcome back. And for this part of the tutorial, I'm just going to fi uh, finish up the last couple pages that we have left in this memory book maker from Tonic Studio. And it's going along pretty well, as you can see. I've gone ahead and attached the spine, and I use a two quarter inch by three and a half inch chipboard, covered it up with the Chow Beya Modern Time Paper Collection. And I use Tim Holtz Buckle. And inside, as you guys saw in the video last night, I made little tags and poles using buttons and some of Tim's um, gears and his little um, nail heads. And with some scraps of um, trims and laces that I had here, I just kind of made little pull tags in here, as you can see. This is from the um, Chalbeya collection. Um, I've cut all the little ephemeras out, fussy cut them, believe it or not, fussy cut them. Okay, and this had another pocket in the back and just kind of did that. Okay. And these are from the Tim Holtz um, Small Talk words. And you can get those at Hobby Lobby. Use your 40% coupon. Over here, I have done and um, use a film strip that I had in my collection, some of Tim's small talk um, ephemeras. I took and oxidized some paper clips using vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. You let it kind of get um, rusty in the sun, and then you get some really nice oxidized paper clips. Great for these kind of projects. I use some threads here and um, sewed on my little pieces of laces. That's why those little scraps are wonderful. Over here, I took a again a paper clip. Used some of the ephemeris from the collection that I fussy cut. Here's a film strip, and I just kind of made a little pull tag here, a little tuck and tuck spot there. And over here, I used the collection and sewed a little stitch there and I made a tag using a washer, one of Tim's gears, a button, wrapped it around with a twine and this is from the 6x6 Chalbeya Modern Time Collection and I just kind of put it right in there and I'm tucking it in with a paper clip that I've oxidized to make it more distressed and more vintage. Opening it up, oops, we have this little guy here that didn't want to stay in his place. We use a button, and this is a film strip that I've stapled using Tim Holtz staple. And then over here, I've used one of Tim Holtz field notes, um, use it as a pocket. And I've inserted some of the little ephemeras from this collection in there. Okay. Put a ticket, random piece of paper that I've coffee dyed, and that was just a scrap laying around. Oops. That one was not want to stay. I had to put paper clip probably there. All right. Let's get you in here. Seems like that one could stay right there. And maybe I can just take this little guy that doesn't seem to want to stay and we'll add a popcorn to hold you in place. There we go. That works better. All right, and then moving along over here, just made a simple little pocket. I cut one of the dies from the Tonic Studio memory book marker. I cut it in half and made this little pocket. And again, I used some tags from the collection, some buttons and gears. Um, the gears are from Tim Holtz. The ephemeras are from the paper collection, Shell Bay, yeah. Over here, I've taken, again, stitch down here. And I use a film strip, glued it down here to make a little pocket. And... Pulled some 
of the calling cards or the ephemeras from the collection. So down. And here's another one that I've used, a Tim Holtz stitch um, piece. And this is something that I have randomly in my stash. Um, put that in there like this. Reds get caught up here. All right, over here I've made a pocket using Tim Holtz ephemeras. Tuck that in. Here's another little um, tag using um, bits and pieces of some laces and trims that I have. Use another pocket using the Tim Holtz ephemera. It's chipboard ephemeras and some random threads and stuff from the paper collection. Get it in here and then it's hard to get it out <laughs> put it back in all right all right so finally I am now taking some tags I stitched down here and I took some of the ephemeras from the 6x6 Chow Bay Yum Modern Time and I just kind of tucked it right in here Tim Holtz little metal embellishment and that's probably gonna go let's see what do we have we have another one in here that I've already attached, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick that one there, like so. And then we're just going to probably do a little corner pocket here. I'm going to stitch it first. I like stitching. I, I think it gives it a nice little unique, um, you know, let's grab one of these little guys here. Not only that, you have the fibers from the thread. It just gives it that nice, unique little look that, you know, we often want. So there's that. I put that there. And then we can um, attach it here. And I'll probably just make a little L there. Let me find my little glue. Clean it out. I did not clean it. Clean the nib here for a second. I'm just using the berry art glue. There we go. I think I need more glue. You think, you think, you think, you think. I'm gonna keep looking up at the screen. Make sure I don't freeze up on you guys. I have to clean up the little glue mess afterwards towards the end. Once everything is set and done, I'll come in with my rubber eraser and just kind of clean that up. Folder and brush that in. 
like I said, I like leaving all the little strands from the threads. It just kind of gives it a nice little unique touch. Okay. And I'm going to put a little button here. It doesn't have to be so heavy duty fancy. Just a button, you know, anything. Anything you have, put the button and this little. I'm not sure my husband was messing with my theater here earlier and he took out some stuff. All right, so we got that one and we can surely over here, I have this one here. I make a pocket here? Probably not. No, I didn't. We're just going to attach that one there. I'm just going to do an L. Let's get okay. yeah. Let's see. Put that tag there. Trying to figure out what you're going to put. That's the, that's the hard part. Figuring out what you're going to put. Let's get some of this little straps of, um, not straps, scraps of. Muslin. And just going to. Again, I, I like the uniqueness of it not being so randomly perfect. And you guys know me. I'm going to go and stitch that up here in a few seconds, but let's do a couple so I'm not having to go back and forth. I have another piece of something here. Just gives it a nice little pull out tab. You know, you have to be it doesn't have to be um, perfectly aligned. Um, in fact, I kind of like little random scraps of stuff. So that one, and I'm gonna probably glue this one here. With that one, because I'm gonna just run that through. And let's see, a director. Kind of need a director, don't we? You can make a pocket with it, a little pocket. That way you can kind of hold it. And hold something like this in there. See? So let's get this. Touch there. little Tim Holtz screw heads here. we got on this other side. I need to do something on that other side. So let's grab this piece of fabric. Yeah. 
I don't know why I use a glue gun sometimes because y'all know that um, me and the glue gun have a love-hate relationship because I, I'm going to sew all these so that's why I'm putting those on the side. Let's get these glue webs that are on my everlasting nerves over there. We have that one we have to sew as well. Let's get this one and put that stitch there. That way we can stitch them all at once instead of me stopping and going here and there. And then again, let's pull a little great way of using these little scraps of stuff. I have another bucket over here full of stuff that I can use. Let's see what we have over here. I'll stitch that. Mm -hmm. And Taking little strips of um, these. We're going to stitch that one as well. Can we salvage here? I can use this one for maybe right there. Okay. Yeah, we'll stitch that. And let's see, do we want to add that around and over? Let's see if we have enough wood. Probably not. 
that's too small. All right, well, um, let's stitch that. So I'll stitch it over here. Stitch that. Makes it easier when we're doing it like that. And I'm just gonna probably just stick these in there, just like they don't have to be all, you know, done up. They really don't. I tuck that there, and I think that's good right there. Tim Holtz words. Anyway, the journey is a destination. That's a pretty good one. I'm pretty much off screen and I apologize for that. Let's see if I can. I was off camera. I apologize for that. Okay. Apologize in advance. That's not my intent. I think I'm going to use um, dimensionals. Are from Dollar Tree. You can use chipboard pieces as well. Someone's doing fireworks here. I don't know what is the celebration for. Not it's firework time. Some people are just, I don't know. I guess they can't stop the celebration. All right. Pick up some of this mess and move along. And I'm going to find another one. Make a wish. Now, let's see. All you need is love. Attitude is everything. Practice kindness. Uh, be awesome today. Embrace the journey. Ooh, that's a nice one. Embrace the journey. looking up. You see me pose for a second. I am looking up to make sure I am actually recording. Let's do be original. That is awesome. Sometimes we do need to be original, I think. 
I really do. Be original. That's a good advice, right? Anybody that wants to carry on a career. My daughter wants to be an actress. So this is this would be good for her. She can always be original. Although she's always been original. She's always been very um as a little girl, she would um pretend she was a cook and she would uh, have Ito, her little accomplice, film her. And I mean little, like she was not even five. She always wanted to be an actor, so. Cute little thing. All right. The original, I'm gonna put it here. Let's not do it in the clock space. Mom got it straight, right? She will be the one to tell me, Mom, you need to get that straight. She's that kid. And then, I'm think, I think that page looks good. The original, and we could probably put another tag in here. So, what we can do is see what we have. Rusty paper clips. We need to pin that down. And we could probably add that there. And then we'll put a backing. I'm just use these stitches from Tim Holtz collection for a little backing. this over here with the paper clip like so oh pretty neat all right that page is done and we have a little pull out there and then getting there we're getting there I'm trying to use all this stuff I'm trying to use the best that I can okay so this one again I'm gonna stitch down that way let's go and stitch because we got a lot to stitch and we're not stitching and we need to get some of this stitched up Sometimes it makes it easier if you just 
If you know what you're going to be making and you just kind of stitch it all up, this makes it a lot, lot easier and faster. You don't have to do a whole, the whole, like the whole thing has to be stitched. As you can see, I do random stitches and um, it just gives it a really nice look. And you can't really. It's a really pretty look. I like it. All right. So we have random stitches and threads and yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let me see what I have from the Tim Holtz. We can put there. This is from the Tim Holtz junk drawers collection. We're going to use that as a measure here. This will kind of help catch whatever you put in the pull. Tuck that in there, it also helps catch it a little. It's not falling off. And then we can put all these little ties in there, see? That we just kind of put together. Let me tuck them in there. It's a quick and easy resort um, to create a little pullout. Then for inside, we have all these little nice one that we just finished making. Did I make one back there? I did. We've still got to put something pretty in there. Let's cut some of these threads. Let's see. I want this one on the side. Let's do 
that is a pull out. Put the big one in the back. My daughter loves dogs. I don't know what her fascination is with animals, but Brianna loves, 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 loves dogs. And someday she can probably have a casting um, call. And she keeps checking those out with all the stuff that's happening. Of course, it's kind of hard, but someday she's going to have a casting call. So she can probably jot that down there. And we're going to put paper clip. Sometimes I gotta dump all this stuff because it's so much in there. I just have to dump it. Time. Let's distress that. We can't have it so new. No way. Mm -mm. Ain't happening. Here to cover the ugliness of that. And we can probably That's all right, let's do this. Add this one here from Tim Holtz. All right. So I'm just going to keep going in here. Universal dominoes. Probably not even. for the bag, running out of little words and phrases. 
Let's find what we have on Tim's. We're running out of words. Cultivate kindness, life. Little life surprises. Let life surprise you. Yeah, that is good. Keep moving forward. That's a good one, too. Right here. Right. Well, I'm going to keep working on this and then I will finish loading out the. I'll do. This will be, I think, part four. I will um, go in and. Um, do the show and tell uh, live for you guys so you guys can see it visually live um, and then we can talk about what I did but in the meantime I just got to finish doing these little finishing touches and um, the last thing I want to do is add the strap and I will show you that probably we will add the strap if anything we'll add the strap live so you guys can see all that and how that works okay so um stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you next time bye bye